223 Washington Avenue. I am also going to be one of the members that will be there during the opening of Opportunity Village, Eugene. Uh, to give you a little bit of background about myself, I've been involved in intentional communities like this for over 10 years, uh, things such as 10 City 3 and 10 City 4 in Seattle. Some of these Seattle indoor shelters are self-run and self-managed. Dignity Village, Right to Dream 2, and now Opportunity Village. One of the things that strikes about Opportunity Village is it's rather unique. Uh, among other things, one thing that's unique is the city and the board have been working hand in hand, not as, adversar not as adversaries, but as people coming together to understand there is a need there. And I would consider this an interim survival mechanism, if nothing else. Uh, the things we're looking at, we're doing right now, so I've had many, many volunteers come forward. We're going to be doing things like teaching, we have people who are willing to come in and teach basic life skills. We have people who have volunteered to help do uh, resume writing classes and basic writing and basic reading. Uh, the whole goal of, of our group is to bring people in and get them back on their feet and transition out as quickly as we possibly can. And that also includes veterans, you know, a lot of the people that are going to be coming into Dignity Village are coming I mean, at Opportunity Village are going to be veterans. Unfortunately, when a, when a veteran does his tour and he goes back out, a lot of times they find themselves homeless for a lot of, a lot of different reasons, such as things they've seen or, or, or had happened to them. Or like right now, we're seeing like a 30% increase in houseless vets hitting the streets. Okay. And again, as, as, as Mark said, this is going to be very low cost. The only cost to the city or to the taxpayers, for lack of a better term, is the value of the land that we're going to be for that period of time. Everything else we're going to be responsible for. Uh, I feel that we have a lot of energy here that's really good. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work on getting, uh, not only just getting the structures approved that we're going to be using there, but I mean, even the nuts and bolts of the day-to-day -day running of the, of the thing. Uh, we have a really good board that's actually going to be helping us, helping out the OBE board are a lot of really thoughtful people that really care and they really take the time to listen and to, to address what, what the needs are. So the only thing I can urge at, at this time would be to approve this as quickly as you possibly can. Thank you. Thanks for your testimony.